Ugh. Try to get a circle. Oh, uh, uh, you see it? If you're anything like me, you've been hearing people talk about ND filters and how creamy and moist and juicy and sponge-like cakey using an ND filter can make your fucking FPV footage. I'm here to talk about it. I'm here to learn. I'm here to teach. I'm here to do everything. I got a fucking rack, a six pack. I got a six pack of these camera butter, buttery ND filters in the mail today and I don't know how to motherfucking use them. So I decided, hey, what a, while I'm learning to use ND filters for my GoPro for this buttercream footage, maybe y'all could learn along with me if you don't know about them. If you do know about them, just fucking keep watching the video. Don't be so stuck up. So first of all, huge shout out to Camera Butter for teaching me how to use these ND filters and for sending these to me. If you want to pick up some ND filters, if you like this footage you're going to see, and I guarantee you're going to like it, uh, I have an affiliate link below. I get a little bit of a cut when you buy them. Hey, hence the video, right? We all got to make some fucking money so there's a link below to the nd filters you can pick some up i'm also going to be giving some a fucking way i'm going to be giving away a whole fucking set of them the n32 the n8 the n16 the n420 the whole set you can win check this out you can win a whole fucking this whole fucking set of these fucking fuck fuck did you know if you say fuck in the beginning of your youtube videos too much you can't monetize ain't that some fucking bullshit fuck you can win a whole set of these ND filters if you just keep watching the video. Leave a comment below, like the video, make sure you're subscribed. Next video or the one after that or some bullshit. I'll pick the winner. It's like a hundred some fucking dollar value, man. It's a pretty good deal. So I don't know anything about how to use these. I just know that sometimes they make your footage look better. So I hit up uh, Matt Tack, Mac Tack, and I was like, yo, bro, thank you very much for these. I don't know how to use them. How do I use these? Explain them to me and explain them to everybody else. And I secretly recorded that conversation. Little unbeknownst to this motherfucker, Matt Tat, Mac Tat, I can't say words, Matt Pat. So I filmed our interactions and I asked him a few questions to explain how to use an ND filter. If you don't know how to use one, this is actually some pretty informative stuff, so check this out. Okay, and to figure out, okay, this one. To figure out what the hell I'm doing, I have Mac Tack here, the owner of camerabutter.com. Thank you for coming on in this video. Thank you for being in this video. Thanks, man, I'm glad to be here. Good, all right, so uh, I want to use ND filters. I love the way they look. I love how it makes everything look so much more cinematic and creamy, but I don't know the first fucking thing. So, uh, hey, that's why you're here. Help, first of all, thank you for them. Second of all, what, what should I do? What is the easiest way, I guess, that I should set this up for my camera? And then what is like the right way or, or the, the pro way maybe? How do I use them? Uh, easy way actually works pretty good. Um... Like, if you're filming during the day in sunlight, take an ND16, put it on your camera, leave it in auto mode, and just, it'll help. It'll give you some nice, creamy motion. So I can just, I can use my, like, I usually have it, you know, I have, like, 60 FPS, whatever, auto. I can just put a filter on there and try it out, and I should get decent footage? Yeah, yeah you'll get smoother video, your props will to disappear. Um, yeah, it'll look way better. Okay, so say y'all just met, we got disconnected. It was hilarious. Y'all missed that part with a seamless transition. You will never know, except I just called this out. All right, so say you want to really, really dig in there and really mess with your settings and get it exactly how you want it. What, what would you do then? What kind of settings could you apply? Yeah, so the, the expert way of doing this is you want your shutter speed to be one over double your frame rate. So if you've got a frame rate of 30 frames per second, you want a shutter speed of one over 60. And so what you do is you go in, set your frame rate to 30, you set your shutter speed to 1 over 60, you set your ISO to the base ISO, which is 100, and then you use an ND filter that'll properly expose your image. So, you you, you know, if it's sunny, use a 16. If it's super sunny, use a 32. Mm. Um, but if it's not exposing it right, just switch ND filters and use a stronger or less strong ND filter. So that, that'll give you that kind of that perfect motion blur that it's all super creamy and wonderful. Yeah, which looks beautiful. Uh, this was all, I read a little paper and we talked a little bit. It was all pretty straightforward. I think the only part I kind of had a problem with, maybe other people did too, is the ISO. You want to set the minimum to 100 and the maximum, or I, I actually, I'm confused. What do you set those to again for the ISO? Well, it depends on your kind of camera because the sessions have worse ISO than the, the you know, Hero 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. I have but an 8. Usually for... For an, uh, a session, I would set the absolute maximum to 800, but mm. 400 is better. Okay. And on a, on an 8, you know, maybe 1600, but really the lower the ISO you have, the better the image you're going to get. You only use higher ISO 
if you're filming when it's kind of dark or dusk or something like that. Usually we okay. don't need much ISO. Okay, I feel like that's pretty easy. I got a handle. I got a grasp on that. You know, ISO 100 and 400. Fucking set your shit to 30 frames a second and then 160. If you do 60 frames a second, 120. That's pretty fucking simple. I am going to go ahead and plug these parameters into my GoPro 8. And I'm going to go down to some grass and I'm going to fucking try it out. Let's go. Let's go down to the... Let's go talk to past bot grinder. I'm future bot grinder. Let's go talk to past bot grinder and see what this fucking dickhead has to say about some shit. Hey, thanks, future bot grinder. I'm, I'm past bot grinder. I'm out here in the field. I gotta test these motherfucking ND filters out. First, I'm gonna do just auto. Automatic, you know, the GoPro, how I usually just have my GoPro. It was spit on me. I usually have my GoPro. I'm just gonna fucking throw an ND filter on that bitch and see what's up. I heard you can just do this. So here's this first one. Here's me. Uh, I guess future bot, that fucking asshole is gonna like talk while you watch it. But here's just the ND filter. Also, do you ever fuck with yourself, your future self? Do you ever just like punch yourself in the head so your future self has to deal with the repercussions? Okay, okay, first of all, ow. That was fucking stupid. I, and I'm still you. It, so it still hurt you when you did that, you fucking idiot. Whatever. Future, future bot, past bot. So here we are with auto settings now. Like I said, I want to, uh, maybe I didn't say this before, I'm going to show you two different things. I'm going to show you with just auto settings, like you have, you normally have your GoPro. If you were to just slap an ND filter up on that bitch, this is what it would look like. And then after this, I'm going to show you what happens when you jiggle your settings around. So let's start this video. We'll start this video with a little commentary, okay? This is color graded with the Johnny FPV. Let's use coupon code 15%. Use coupon code BOTGRINDER to save 15% or whatever on the Johnny Lutz. This looks a lot better. Watch this jiggle right here. See this like shake? It'll do it again. See that? My GoPro does that when it's in low light, which is interesting because now using the ND filter lets less light in even though the fucking shutter is open more, but it's still doing that little jiggling thing when it when there's low light like when i fly at night it'll do that it's fucking weird i don't understand i assume it has something to do with the sensor and the light that's coming in or whatever but as far as using an nd filter this looks smoother look the sun the light transition yeah huh not too bad not too bad that iso or that um yeah the iso is locked 100 and 400 so it can't it can't really go much farther than that the motion blur is what I'm in it for. I'm looking for the fucking motion blur. Like, look at the ground. Look at the way it interacts with the ground. The way that it fucking does those really nice little motion blurry things. I think this looks pretty fucking good. Now, remember, this is just using using stock settings. Or, you know, on the GoPro 8, the activity setting. 60 frames per second. Um, what the fuck ever else numbers are. This doesn't look too bad. This does not look too bad. Let's go back to FutureBot. Uh, and just to be a dick to this asshole, I'm gonna smoke all of our fucking weed right now. There's not that much weed left. I'm gonna smoke all of our weed right now so that fucking asshole gets none when he comes home. Fuck you, future past bot. I don't even know anymore. That's not even how that works. You can't smoke all the fucking weed. It's still gonna be there when I get home because I haven't got back there yet. Or wait, is it? Aw, oh, man. All right, so that looked however it looked. Future bot, that piece of shit is gonna I guess he described it. Now I'm gonna try the settings, the, the little pro settings. What the fuck? So the pro settings I'm gonna to do today is I'm gonna do 160th for the shutter speed. I'm gonna do 30 frames per second. I'm gonna do a low ISO of 100 and a max ISO of 400. Everything else on there is fucking whatever. I'm gonna color grade this with the Johnny FPV LUTs because I love them. Use coupon code BOTGRINDER for 15% off. So I'm recording it in GoPro flat so that I can color them later, which you and piece of shit future bot are gonna go fucking See, there better be fucking weed left. This is the one I was excited for, but it looks like past bot, you fucking idiot, somehow filmed this in the 4-3. See why it's this little square? It's supposed to be in 16-9. For some reason, that idiot put it on 4-3. I'm no longer trusting you to do shit. I'm doing all this stuff from now on. Let's just check it out. This should be like super juicy, fucking amazing footage right here. Dude, that looks so fucking good. Look at the ground. Look at that. Look at the fucking beautiful motion blur. Look at the cinematic quality. 30 frames a second. Shutter at 160. ISO locked at 100, 400 max. That looks fucking... Mm. Uh, uh, ooh. I'm pretty fucking... Dude, this looks really good. ND filters actually do make your footage look better. I want to I wanna show you a side-by-side uh, -side, because I feel like it's kind of hard really just to appreciate how good it is unless you see it next to 
a uh, fucking regular GoPro. I can't talk. Dude, do you know what it's like 2 in the morning? Do you know I'm filming this at 2 in the morning? I did so much shit today, and I'm filming this at 2 a.m. That's why I'm fucking stupid. Not because I'm stupid. It's because I've been awake too fucking long. This, this, oh my god, dude, this looks so fucking good. I knew ND filters could do some shit. Like, I wish I would have flown smoother. Okay, check this out. Look at the, look at the ground. Look how fucking cool that looks, man. I was, try I was doing that for a thumbnail. Maybe that'll be my thumbnail. Okay, it looks fucking great. Let me let me show you the comparison. All right, I just uh, you know whipped this up real quick. On the left we have here with an ND filter, and then if you pop on over right here, this is no ND filter. This is just how it comes out of the GoPro. This is with the ND filter, the one that we had just watched. Let me make myself a little bit smaller. Where's the thing? Oh, I guess I would have kept it. Let's, let's fucking check. Oh my god, dude. Look at the difference that this fucking makes. These are different flights, but I try to follow, like, kind of the same path, you know. Um, <laughs> holy fucking shit. That looks, that's the same little area right there. The left looks so much better. Both of these I used the Johnny Lutz on, by the way. Um, it was the Cobra Low Light Balance Brighter Shadows Lut at FPVLutz.com, or I think, I don't know. Link in the description. Look how much better the left looks though, man. I wish that uh, past me wasn't a fucking idiot and didn't fuck up the 4-3 aspect ratio and shit. But you still get it. You can still see just how much how much more juicier, buttery, jizzier, whatever fucking adjective verb you want to use. I almost hit the shit out of that on that one. It, it just looks fucking fantastic, man. I'm really blown away by how much better this shit looks with the ND filter. This is fantastic. I, I would definitely recommend these, man. Now, after seeing... Watch using these and watching the video and stuff. I I'd say go ahead and use an ND filter. Maybe not for every fucking day, you know. Maybe you want to use it every, in your everyday freestyle rip. But if you're trying to get some juicy shit going, if you're trying to film some like God, that looks good on the left. If you're trying to film some cinematic stuff, you know, um, definitely give this a try. Normal everyday freestyling, maybe not unless you want it to look super cool. But if you're going for some juice, juice. Definitely try one of these ND filters. Thank you, Camera Butter. I, I really appreciate that, man. All right, let's go uh, back to 1940s bot or whatever. I don't fucking know at this point. So as you can see, with an ND filter, it looks so much fucking better with little color grading and shit. This is fantastic footage. I'm really happy with the way that one turned out. The auto mode works pretty well, but when you set your settings yourself, it definitely looks like it comes out a shit ton better. Thank you so much, Camera Butter, for sending these to me. I'm definitely gonna be experimenting with them more in the future. And uh, if if you want to win a set of these, like I said, make sure you're subscribed. Leave a comment below, like the video. I'll pick one random person to send you a set of ND filters for any camera, any GoPro you got. It's courtesy of Camera Butter. Thanks, Camera Butter. If you don't want to wait to win some, there's a link below. Just fucking pick some up, buy some. Maybe you can get some jizzy, creamy, good footage or whatever. I try so hard not to say jizzy. That's the end of my video. Thanks everybody for watching. I love you all. Have a great day. Bye. And then use an ND filter. That uh oh.